Hmm, wonder where Jay is. He knows the show's about to start. Maybe I should call him. No need to call. I have arrived. You have arrived? Well, yes. Punctuality is very important for productive people. And I will now use my very important and serious looking watch to show you that I am right on time as I sip my very serious coffee. I'm pretty sure that's not even a... Never mind. And I am Jay. Welcome, friends, to Press Play. It is a delight to be with you. Jay, what's going on? Why, what on earth do you mean? I'm just a useful and productive person, acting as such, drinking coffee, checking my watch, and reading my very serious business magazine. Jay, snap out of it! You don't have to do all these things to be a useful person. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing even in this mug. This magazine is boring, and this watch doesn't even work. These sunglasses, well, they're kind of cool. What's going on? It's just that we visited your cousin Carlos, who works in a pit crew. He was so useful. And I thought, maybe I should be more like that. I mean, how's God ever gonna use this goofy dude? Are you kidding me? God's already using you. Don't you all love Jay? See, they didn't even respond. Oh, come on, everyone! Don't you love Jay? See? I don't know. <laughs> we gotta fix this. You thinking what I'm thinking? I guess. Three, Three two, one, one, press play! Whoa. Whoa! Oh, no. Back at the racetrack, we're gonna see Carlos again, and I'm gonna feel even less useful. I don't think we're here to see Carlos. What? Um, Why? Well, don't panic yet. But there is a tow truck coming right for us. Oh, okay, no oh, panic! Oh, oh. Oh. Watch out! Coming through! Luck has important things to do. Oh, sorry, Jay, get you. Oh. Bro, you're a tow truck. Yeah. You get us and we wouldn't be talking about it, but <laughs> yo. You're right, brother. The name's Lug, not the tow truck. Nice to meet you, Lug. I'm Emma, and this is Jay. Oh, what's wrong there, Jay? You're looking a little blue in the bolts. Oh, Jay doesn't think he's useful. Oh, I have slicked that tire before, yes, sir. When I first came to the track, I was nothing but a beat up pickup truck. I thought, what use is old lug nuts? Actually, it reminds me of a- Bible story. See, useful already. Sure is slipping. A Bible story from the book of Joshua, chapter two. Joshua, the new leader of the Israelites, sent two spies into a place called Jericho. Evidently, they weren't very good spies because the king of Jericho found out about them right away. The spies hid in the house of a woman named Rahab. Oh, oh excuse me, friends. Lug nuts to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Like I said, came to the racetrack a beat up pickup truck without an idea of what to do. They put this toe on my back and the old lug found out how I can be useful. Oh. Oh. So anyway, Rahab was an outsider. She didn't have a great reputation, but she did what she had to do as the sole provider for her household. It was a pretty rough situation and I'm a tow truck. I know, rough situations. She was the last person people would have expected God to work with. I don't know, she seems pretty tough. She was! And she was about to show it. The king's soldiers came to her door demanding that she give up the Israelite spies. But she didn't. <gasps> Instead, in Joshua 2.4, she said, yes, the men came to me but I did not know where they had come from. At dusk, when it was time to close the city gate, they left. I don't know which way they went. Go after them quickly. You may catch up with them. She pointed them in the wrong direction? She did. <laughs> in the wrong direction. Look, to the rescue! <laughs> <laughs> Where was I? Oh yeah, 
This was a very dangerous thing to do. If the spies were found in her house, she would be in as much trouble as a busted bumper oh. on a Buick! Oh. Oh. But Rahab knew the spies were Israelites. She knew they worshiped the true God, and she knew that God was fighting for them. She knew that their being meant Jericho was doomed. Whoa, she was tough and smart. Mm. Yep! <laughs> Even though other people looked down on her, God saw how smart and tough she was. She went to the spies and made a deal. She wouldn't tell on them if they agreed to save her family's life when the Jericho fell. That was as bold as a beefing Bentley. <laughs> but the spies agreed. Verse 14 says, our lives for your lives. The men assured her, if you don't tell what we are doing, we will treat you kindly and faithfully when the Lord gives us the land. It worked? You betcha! Rahab helped the spies escape unnoticed and put her trust in God. What do you make of that, Jay? Uh. The least likely person and God used her to not only save the spies, but save her family as well? Kinda. Like I'm out here saving cars every day because I found out what Rahab did. God can use someone like me. Isn't that nice? Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Slug. I feel better. Slug to the rescue! Bye! Bye! Oh. Ready? Oh. Turn to your neighbor and join us in the secret press play handshake. <laughs> <laughs>